everyone. This, I would like to welcome you to another conversation about your Kundalini awakening process. And this conversation is a continuation of the dark night of the soul topic. Um, just a quick, a quick reiteration. Dark night of the soul typically occurs within a Kundalini process and is not uh, uh, typically the transformative or the awakening uh, activator of the Kundalini. Okay. This is a, something that a person has within the awakening process. Uh, you will be tested by this. This is a school. It is a classroom. It is, you know, if you buy in to all the qualities of darkness that you are shown, then it is something that you are supposed to buy into. These are the points where you get to to work on. You understand? Everybody's dark night of the soul is different and unique. Okay. Sometimes the dark night of the soul is an emotional place where you are nothing but depressed all the time. Depressed, depressed, depressed. Is today a good day to die? Is what it comes down to. Okay. These dark nights, uh, they claim a lot of people. They can kill you. Once again, Kundalini is not for the faint of heart. You have to find the luminosity within yourself. You see? You have to become that star in the night sky, in that dark, velvety night sky. You are that star. You are that quasar. You are that angel of light. This is what you're being trained to become. And if you're always in the sunlight, if you're always in the radiant glow of Kundalini, you're never really able to know yourself. You have to be put into that dark night sky in all the aspects of the body, the emotional body, the physical body, the mental body, the psychological body, the spiritual body. Every body will be affected, often simultaneously. It can be rough. I won't lie to you, it can be rough. But the Kundalini does not give to you that which you cannot do. And I will encourage you to have faith to have love and to take strength from that faith and that love while you're within this process. And it's not over in one day either. Sometimes the dark night of the soul can last for years. It depends on you. It depends on your level of surrender. It depends on how flexible you can be to, to be in the dark night and to go, yeah, oh, this is such a beautiful dark night. I love it. I love every aspect of my kundalini existence. Can you make that flex? Think about it. Those of you who are in the dark night right now, can you turn around inside yourself? Can you turn within? Here you are. Now you're looking within. Can you do that? Can you find the goodness, the grace, even in the darkness? As every body that you have, all five bodies, go blindfolded into the nothingness, into the great void. Can you feel good? Can you just go, yeah. I am love. I am a star. In this sky of void. In this nothingness. I am. I think you can. And I think you need to look at this that way. And you will come through it. I have been through a very long dark night. And I know what I speak. And I can see it in you right now. Become that darkness. Become the sacred soil from which Kundalini activates. Doesn't mean you're bad. Doesn't mean you're evil. Doesn't mean any of those things. It means that you are divine. And you can make this work.
if you allow the Kundalini to pour itself through you in both the polarities of experience. The grace of the sunlight and the grace of the darkness. The grace of material being and the grace of absolute emptiness. You can do this. I have confidence in you. Let me know how it goes. Thanks for watching. I am at one with all that I am at one with all that I am at one with all that I am.